Oh, the blunt truth. And, uh, I knew my tenacious review would stir up some uh, controversy, but I didn't think it would happen in just a couple hours. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm, um, this video isn't to defend myself. I want to take a minute to do exactly that. I had a, a subscriber comment, and you can read his comments in one of the tenacious videos, that um, he felt I was fudging the test on the wood with the tenacious. That I wasn't pushing as hard as, as with the Benchmade. And that's why it didn't do as well. And it, think about it. I mean, I'm, why would I bother? Why would I care whether you like one knife over the other? I'm not selling these damn things. You know, I wouldn't have the audacity to call myself the blunt truth and then fudge results to get you to like one over the other. What the hell do I care? So I do my best. I'm trying my best to treat each knife equally and test them fairly. And I'm not perfect, but that's partly the reason I'm doing this. We're going to retest head to head Benchmade versus Tenacious. Because that comment got me thinking. You know, if, if these are pretty much equal in design, they're both flat grind, they're both about three inches, both about the same edge geometry, same curvature, this is a little flatter, but about the same, both three millimeters, all things being pretty much equal, except S30V, HCR 13 MOV. Why then did this on the same piece of wood do very well, and this on that piece of wood do very poorly? Is the type of steel that important to performance too, and not just edge retention? That's what I want to find out. That's why I'm doing this video. I have sharpened both of these up to as close to perfect as I can get it. And it took a lot to get the chip out of this thing. It was a deep chip. But I did it. I got it out. It's sharp. Pops the cord. Pops the cord nice. This, of course, is sharp. Pops the cord nice. So, I'm going to go back and forth between the two. And we're going to see. I mean, I know it's all up to me to push is equally hard. And I'm just some guy. What it comes down to is I'm some guy on YouTube that you don't know. I don't know you. Yes, I could be deceiving you. Take it or leave it. I'm not, you know. Believe me, don't believe me. Don't matter to me, really. I'd like you to believe me, but have it your way. Let's start with the Benchmade. Nice pieces of wood coming off, that's for sure. Once again, not much effort. The way my ta table rattles around, you'd think it is, but it always rattles. A whole bunch of shit on it. Tenacious. And it has a razor edge. Same edge as the bench made. I'm trying just as hard. It's doing better than it did during its review because it has a nice new edge on it. It is hurting the hell out of my hand though. Again, this friggin' handle sucks, but whatever. That's another thing. I gave this a positive review. You guys seem to miss that. You think I trashed it to hell. All I did was say it's not worth more than you pay for it. It's worth $32. It's a decent knife for the money. I'm just saying it's not up to Spyderco standards. It's not really a Spyderco, except in name, you know? It's my only point. 
I like the knife. You know, I give it a positive review for value. I swear, I'm not trying to make this look harder than it is. I'm gonna put my glove on though because it's friggin' hurting the hell out of my back. So we need to put my glove on. Jump back to the. Uh, I'll do a little more on the tenacious here yeah, with the glove, see what happens. Holding it at the same damn angle, too. Alright, let's go back, back to the bench made. easier. It's not like a whole world of difference, but it's definitely easier with the S30V. It is. I don't know why it is. I don't know. It was like that with the Spyderco uh, Native too, S30V. Did great on the wood. I just think S30V is a good wood metal. The Native did good slicing. Cardboard, I mean the uh, Tenacious. Did great on cardboard. And this is just better on wood, plain and simple. Can't seem to get as big a bite out with this either for some reason. It does, it hurts your hand right through the glove. <laughs> the handle sucks. It, just getting little pieces. It's real easy to get big pieces with this. Much less effort. So my conclusion is S30V is just better on wood than HCR13MOV. I don't know why that would be, but that's what I'm getting. I'm running out of time, but let's do a quick little edge test and see what uh, see if we lost anything. Didn't lose anything on the S30V. A little bit of frame there. Say a miscut. No. Yeah, I'm getting good cuts now. Yeah. Good edge. Might have lost a little bit. But I lost the edge. 
it's all frayed. I gotta push wicked hard to get it to cut. Barely cuts it. Lost the edge again. No edge after that little bit of wood. It sure as hell wouldn't do that with this. Okay, head to head over. Head to head. Tenacious loses. Blunt tooth. Bye.